Hey guys, it's Cece here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to have you guys back here. I am filming a video today which I've already filmed before. In the past, I did do a reaction to this chapter before, but I took that video down now so this is not going to be a reaction. Instead, we're going to watch it together and I'm going to share my take-home points, lessons to be learned from this chapter and what we can all go away thinking about. And I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts and things to really reflect upon. And before I start, I want to say a Happy New Year to everybody. I haven't said that yet, so I know I'm a little late, but I hope you guys have an amazing year ahead. May Allah bless every single one of you. May he guide us all, and may he just make our hearts super happy. So this is a recital of the Quran by Rod Muhammad, and it is the 79th Surah of the Quran. So if you guys give me a second, I'm going to go and put my scarf on. والسابحات سبحا فالسابقات سبقا فالمدبرات أمرا يوم ترجف الراجفة تتبعها الرادفة قلوب يومئذ واجفة أبصارها خاشعة يقولون أئنا لمردودون في الحافرة أئذا كنا عظاما نخرا قالوا تلك إذا كرة خاسرة فإنما هي زجرة واحدة فإذا فإذا هم بالساهرة هل أتاك حديث موسى إذ ناداه ربه بالواد المقدس طوى اذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى فقل هل لك إلى وأهديك إلى ربك فتغشى فأراه الآية الكبرى فكذب وعصى فكذب وعصى ثم أدبر يسعى فحشر فنادى فقال أنا ربكم الأعلى فأخذه الله نكال الآخرة والأولى الله الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين فكذب وعصى ثم أدبر يسعى فحشر فنادى فحشر فنادى فقال أنا ربكم الأعلى 
فأخذه الله نكال الآخرة والأولى إن في ذلك لعبرة لمن يخشى أأنتم أشد خلقا أم السماء فعسمكها فسواها وأقطش ليلها وأخرج ضحاها وأخرج ضحاها والأرض بعد ذلك دحاها أخرج منها ما والجبال أرساها متاعا لكم ولأنعامكم فإذا جاءت الطامة الكبرى يوم يتذكر الإنسان ما سعى وبرزت الجحيم لمن يرى فأما من طغى وآثر الحياة الدنيا وآثر الحياة الدنيا فإن الجحيم هي المأوى وأما مقام ربه ونهى النفس عن الهوى ونهى النفس عن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المأوى يسألونك عن الساعة أيان مرساها فيما إنما أنت منذر إنما أنت منذر من يخشاها كأنهم يوم يرونها لم يلبثوا كأنهم يوم يرونها لم يلمثوا إلا عشية أو ضحاها الله Okay, so upon watching and reading that, I have a lot of points. A lesson in this that was absolutely imperative is the level that pharaoh was brought down to where he turns to the people and tries to tell him that he's the lord and the way he was challenging position it was coming from a place of arrogance so all these people that you're trying to make a huge point in front of are the same people that you ended up being humiliated in front of a lost power is unmatched we say that there is no God but Him, there is none like Him. And even the word Allahu Akbar, it means Allah is the greatest, He is greater, He is above all of these things. And the truth of the matter is, is that we need Him. Power isn't power without acknowledging Allah. He is the source of hope, peace, and ultimate strength. And all that shows us is that no matter how high you are in this world, what status, how you treat other people, it doesn't stop the truth from being the truth. And that is that God is above all of these things. And the prophets, peace be upon them, they all followed this example of treating others like they're equal. Like there's a website I think called aboutislam.net. I'll link it down below and it shared something really nice about the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is that he would feed animals, he would help clean the house, he would 
ate with his servants. He wouldn't differentiate between people's skin color because he saw beauty in all these things. Because we are all creatures of God and if somebody else is walking around acting like they're better than everybody, you don't have enough love for Allah's creation. And even in this world, we have sometimes people who don't talk to other groups of people based on where they're from, which sect they belong to, which area they live in, their social status, how much money they have. We see this a lot in the world that we live in. And the best way to combat that is to look at the people that you think you're above and remember that these people are made by the God that's given you everything that you have, by the God who loves you so much, by the God who is super powerful, forgiving, compassionate, and the one who deserves our worship and our respect. And when you remember this, whilst you're looking at everyone around you and every being and every creature around you, you will start to feel your heart soften because everything that you're looking at has been made by the one that we are meant to please. The second take home point, as you guys saw in this video, he recited a part where he talks about what people strive for in this world, which is very true. I think you can enjoy this world and strive for what you want, but we have to reflect within ourselves and ask, how much of what I'm striving for is to do with Allah's pleasure? Within all of these things that I'm trying to achieve, how much of that is me trying to achieve the status of becoming a good Muslim? It's so easy to get caught up in everything that's going on around you, but it's our responsibility to ground ourselves and have a very honest conversation with ourselves. Because if you chase this world too much, it can push you away from your true purpose, which is ironic because I think when we try to stay so busy and we fall into bad habits, you actually try to find your purpose in all these things. And the irony is, is that the things that you're doing can be the things that are pushing you away from what you're put on this earth for. The third point to reflect on is we're in this chapter, it was recited that on that day, on the day of judgment, it will be as if we were on the earth for a day or half a day, an afternoon. This is honestly very scary because you look at all your years that you spent on this planet, everything that you've done, how much time you've spent doing things that maybe were not as important. And at the end, you're standing in front of your God. What have you got to show for your deeds? And it's okay, it's okay to enjoy this planet. Allah has given you this life as a blessing and all the good things in your life as a gift. But we just have to make sure that before the day ends, you've done at least one thing to serve him, one good deed, at least one act of worship. You know, it really makes me think about how all of us, how we, you know, even me, we try to make sure that we present ourselves a certain way and, we put a lot of effort into that and we try to present ourselves the best way that we can to people that we're seeing for just a few hours or in our outfits and we can forget that we are presenting ourselves to Allah 24 7. How much effort are you putting into how you present yourself to him? And my last point is to make sure that you try to have a connection with the word of God, even if it's just sharing the word of God with somebody else, reading a few verses, per day, doing a good deed and an act of worship. All of these things count and all of these things will be the things that you need the most. And I read this one quote online by Imam Ali alayhi salam where he says, he who sells the life of the hereafter for the life of this world will lose both of them. So in short, be kind to everybody, check in and have an honest conversation with yourself about pride. Are you treating people around you remembering that they are also the creation of Allah? In the midst of everything that you're doing, how much of that is for Allah's pleasure? And how much of that can you take on the day where we will be judged? So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. Let me know what your take-home points are or what you would like to share about your reflections on this chapter. I'll be interested to know that and I hope you guys have a good day, evening, whatever time it is where you're watching this. I have some other Islamic based videos so please do check them out. So thank you again and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!